Anyone with a car knows that gas prices are constantly changing, but probably wonders why. Well, to understand the price of gasoline and where that money goes, you need to know a little something about global demand, geography, and Slurpees. The biggest chunk of your change goes to the people actually producing the oil. That's about 71 cents for each dollar you spend. But it's the traders, not the producers, who set the actual price of a barrel using global supply and demand. Now come the refiners. They took the crude oil, turned it into gasoline, diesel, and other stuff like jet fuel and asphalt. They take about six cents of every dollar for gasoline. They get about 11 cents for diesel because even though it costs the same to make, demand is higher. Another factor impacting the cost of gas is how far away the pump is from the refinery. If you're lucky enough to live next to an oil refinery in New Jersey, you'll pay a lot less than if you live in Idaho, where they don't have any oil refineries at all. Transporting oil and gas comes with a price tag, too. Another wild card is taxes. Drivers in Alaska pay just 8 cents a gallon. In New York State, you'll owe the tax man 50.6 cents for every gallon you buy. For all those costs, retailers typically come away with just a few pennies per gallon. In fact, some gas stations even lose money on gas in the hope that more people will pull up and buy something else. After all, the margins on Slurpees are much higher.